seek out to get work done from Haitians, you have to understand the spirits we work with are very territorial. It's as though when you get certain work done, there is what you call a reglement. There is something, the rules and regulations, there are protocols that you're supposed to follow. And when these protocols are not followed, this is when you begin to have problems. Recently, two spiritualists hit me up. One spiritualist, she referred me to a client in Germany. And what happened was I took on the case. It seemed like, you know, she was having problems. She wasn't able to produce the results the client was looking for. She referred me to the client. Within a month's time period, the client was satisfied with the thing, the movement she was seeing. So anyhow, it just seemed as though the spiritualist, I guess she felt some type of way, and she began to reach out to the client that she gave to me, offering or soliciting work to the client whatsoever, trying to get you know her back as her own personal client. And she declined. Come to find out, this spiritualist had a, still, a stillborn birth, well, stillborn. Basically, she lost her child that she was carrying. I know people say things like that happen. Of course, not so often, but it does. There was another spiritualist recently that hit me up. And this spiritualist was telling me about how a work that I'd done for a client began attacking him as well as the client that, let's just say, went rogue, they went on their own way. See, the thing is, about this situation is here is that you had different people that this person spoke to that warned them, and I personally warned the client as well. I told the client, listen, I don't mix my work with other work because I know my spirits are very jealous. They're very territorial. So you mixing things up can actually lead you into getting hurt or people around you getting hurt. So I guess the spiritualist thought it was a joke because I spoke to the spiritualist and the spiritualist said they were on the phone, excuse me, they were standing next to the person when I told them this over the phone. He took it as a joke. This spiritualist calls me up complaining, wondering what, what can he do? What can I do to help him? Because he went over there Everything turned upside down. Something I was supposed to be for two weeks, it turned into two months staying out here. He's from the Caribbean. And I guess the client flew him out. Come to find out, money got mess messed up. Uh, things were flying off the shelf. He ended up hurting his back. A whole bunch of craziness happened. I remember there was one spiritualist once. I had a client I was doing work for him. This is an old story. Come to find out, and I'm not bragging, I'm just saying how certain things go down. But anyway, you know what? Before I move on to that, I want to conclude this story here. So now, here it goes. Through all that craziness and madness, this person lost valuable items, lost the luggage, and now the client that they were dealing with were talking about uh, how he, you know, he helped he helped to find the luggage that he lost, whatsoever, and talking about he had to pay X amount of dollars. So listen. See, the whole situation ended up screwing the spiritualists who tried to intervene in the situation. And not only that, everything's all fucked up, in, you know, in, in total chaos over there. It never works out. See, I'm going to move on to the next situation. I have a spiritualist, I remember I was doing work for a client years ago. And uh, this client here... She tells me that one day, this guy, I guess this spiritualist, you know, spoke to her, kind of liked her, I guess. I don't know what the situation was. But I remember he found out that I was doing work with her because I think he's seen me in a video with her whatsoever. And I believe, yeah, for, this is a while ago. This happened like probably a couple of years ago. The guy said, oh, so you're in contact with Boko or whatever. But I know he was supposed to meet with her. Or just meet with her to tell her something. And I think the time before, like the, the when she was supposed to meet with him, she ended up finding out the guy died. 
that was one of the most inter. Well, I'd say the most. Uh, how can it, how can I say this? Bizarre things ever. You know, like you're supposed to meet the guy, and you're supposed to meet the spiritualist, or he's supposed to tell you something, and he ends up dying. I don't know. And this is this may seem like some fucking movie shit. I mean, my life at times. Sometimes I question. How, you know, is my life real? Because some of the shit that goes on is just unbelievable. I don't, be, I, listen, I, I personally, you know, I, the things that I just said right now, I know some people are going to find it hard to believe and I don't blame people because the shit that I live is, my, the life that I live is unbelievable. The shit that I'm saying in my fucking videos, people are going to be like, yo, this shit is not true. This shit has, it cannot be real. <laughs> you know, and I understand it. But on the nutshell, when it comes down to doing work, you know, listen, sometimes it's better to mind your fucking business. Like, when you, and listen, if you're just an amateur, a, you know, an amateur spiritualist, just pop out of the way, you, you know, you watch a couple of videos on YouTube, you know, you, you, know, you play with a little couple of tarot cards, you read a little books, you know, tarot cards for dummies, and think you're a spiritualist, listen, leave the shit alone, because now you're going to end up trying to basically do something that you're not capable of and it might end up turning against you and harming you and those around you when it comes down to you know you know uh dissolving previous work that other spiritualists has done you got to be a person that has a lot of intelligence and experience to think you're just going to come here and basically work over what another spiritualist has done Hey man, you're looking at you. You're basically creating a fucking. What does it say? You're putting yourself in a situation which can be detrimental to you and those around you. Cause here is a spiritualist calling my phone today, ask basically asking me for help. Asking me for help. How do I get this? Listen, what am I going to say to you? You know, you want me to say, you know, you want me to tell you how to get out of the situation? I just said, stay away from that boy. Stay away from that client. This is this is what people warn the spirituals in advance. There's one person I know that, you know, this uh, friend of mine's, you know, she was warning dude. Like, listen, you don't know what type of shit that Leonard is involved with. You're trying to throw yourself in a situation. You're, you're putting yourself in dangerous waters. See, listen, there's a lot of spiritualists out here that may talk shit about me. They may say this and that, but they know they're not fucking with me. They're not. And this is not to boost myself up. I want you people out here to understand. When it comes to spiritual work, and even for my clients, listen. This is not no fake shit. This is not no play play. Where you think, oh, because I don't see things within a couple of days, you're going to run out. And go basically get somebody else to do some shit to you. you do, do some shit for you. I, listen, you don't have to believe what the fuck I'm saying. You can go do what the fuck you want to do. But in the long run, when you experience what you experience, and I'm not threatening you whatsoever. This is why personally I feel today that I'm, I do not worry about what a client's going to do. Because I know they're going to come right back. You can run over here to this spiritualist here, but I know you're going to come right back. When you're doing work, especially if it's real, it is a binding contract. You have created a pact with the spirit. The spirit is here and will help you. And now you bring in some other situation. You start violating the rules and regulations. You are destined to get fucked up. This is not a laughing matter. This is not a game. You can probably think in your mind, oh, he's just saying this for, for you know for financial, you know, for financial reasons. I can give a fuck less. I got clients hitting me up daily. So you can believe what the fuck you want to what, what the fuck you want to believe. Money comes to me like nothing. So if you don't want to believe the shit that I'm saying, that's on you. But what I will tell you is that don't mix what the fuck I'm doing with other shit. Because you might get fucked up and the person that you're trying to get to help you might get fucked up in the long run. With that said, I conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.